All right, welcome back to Blown Budget Garage. We got a lot of work to get done. I have wiring to get hooked up. I have a mo HEI module to get hooked up. I had a lot of things that took place. Uh, the engine is just about ready to turn over and fire up for the first time in many, many years. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through everything I did. And uh, I got some uh, feedback that the finger pistols were a hit. So let's get to work. All right, guys, so we're going to go back into action mode for everything. So let me, let me uh, explain what I did. So I purchased, I went out and purchased a actual ECU that goes on this car. And it didn't work. There was no power uh, coming out of it whenever it was grounded. And I had no power at my distributor wires with everything hooked up. So we knew it wasn't going to work. Uh, there was no sense in continuing on with it. So I went out and got uh, a GM part, right? So we got, we, we got an HEI ignition system now. So what I did was uh, took this, bolted it to a piece of aluminum for uh, like a heat sink, got some dielectric grease on the back side of it. And to make this really, really simple, I'm gonna show y'all how I ran the wires just in case this can help somebody else out. Because like I said, look it, that's not even hooked up. So this is very, very simple very simple so you got your right here and and these are all marked guys right so you got w and g and then right here you got uh, b and c so b is your battery so i have the brown wire on the coil coming off of my harness and then i have that red wire right that goes from the coil i ran it back and it goes to this top po uh, post right here then your black one right here, right? That goes to the negative side of the coil over here. Now there's a green wire also because that's for my tack, but here's the black wire, okay? It's on that side of the coil. Then you got your distributor plug. And this is orange and black, but I didn't have any orange wire and I didn't want to run another black wire because I already get using that as a ground. So what we did was we figured, well, I got yellow wire and this connector is red. So we were like, ah, oh, yellow and red makes orange. That's how we'll know it's, you know, the same wire. And then the white uh, to the black. So anyways, so what would be the orange wire we used as a yellow. And if you look on this W, that's where it goes right there. And then this white wire, which is the negative uh, for the pickup. Um, it goes to the other side. So that's it. So the HEI is wired. I got my tack wired in. Um, there's a bit of a glare. Anyway, so the, the tack is just wired in uh, loosely right now. Uh, as you can see, I mean, nothing in here is set up for, for permanent use. But I went ahead and just grounded it out back there and just put the hot wire on the back of the uh, panel. And I didn't even hook up the white wire because we don't need lights. But at this point, we're going to grab a screwdriver so we can, um, sorry about that. I actually hit a button. Uh, we're going to get a screwdriver, uh, for our throttle so we can set it once it starts up, um, and monitor our RPMs on our tack so we can break this in. Right. So I'm going to go get all that, get everything set up, get something to drink, and then we are going to be ready to fire this engine and get it up and running for the first time in many, many years.
Okay. All right, so what we got going on is one, my battery is like, it needs to be, it, we need to just let it charge up all the way because we just used it way too much and it's dead. But I'm trying to get my timing adjusted uh, by turning my distributor. And so what you just saw, I had it up and running good. And then when I reached over to, uh, to, to um, advance my timing a little bit more, um, it stopped running because I accidentally let off the throttle. So I shouldn't have to hold the throttle, right? But we're gonna get it. So we're gonna let the battery charge a little bit more and then we're gonna try this again. Well, while we're waiting on the battery over, well, the battery's right here, but as you can see, got it hooked up to the battery charger. It's still charging. So while it's been charging, I went ahead and I just kind of started uh, cleaning a lot of this wiring up. I just got some loom wrap and you know the wires I had to run to the coil. I cleaned them up, kind of just started tucking everything back, making it look a little bit better. Uh, I accidentally uh, cut this wire right here too long. Um, so I need to clean that up, but whatever. Uh, I I'll do the, the fine touches later. I just kind of wanted to get everything wrapped up and really out of the way. So yeah, at this point, we're just gonna sit here and wait on this guy to calm down and get fully charged and then I think it's gonna be time to fire it off and this time hopefully it's gonna run uh, a lot better because I got the uh, the idle screw right here in case y'all don't know uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all do but if, if you don't this is you know right here this is my my idle set screw and it was back like all the way out so I went ahead and just cranked it in quite a bit and then once it fires off I'll, I'll back it down and then uh, take the timing light to it right there and make sure that we just get it dialed in as fastly as possible so it can sit and, and break in. I really don't like that um, I'm having to, that it's not, that it didn't stay running, but that's the world that we live in right now. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that uh, everything just works really well once we get this battery charged. So until then. I'm headed home um, after uh, a successful day and uh, I just wanted to, uh, to let y'all know how everything went I mean obviously you heard the engine run it ran really great uh, had a couple of small hiccups uh, looks like my back uh, my back passenger side header bolt is still leaking so I'm gonna take it out and wrap it in Teflon tape and put some putty on it uh, and then put it back in tighten it up real good see if that clears it up uh, the other is that my engine is wanting to idle just a little fast 
it's wanting to die on me whenever I, I bring that idle screw down. So it's only wanting to idle at about 1100 RPM right now. So I got to do a little tweaking on that and uh, get that dialed in. But aside from that, everything is running great. Uh, I got her to run for 20 minutes at 2000 and then I brought her down and uh, you know, killed it with the key, turned it back over right away and it fired right back up and just, it sounds really awesome. So, you know, like anything else, just a couple of small things to iron out. Now I do want to say one thing. Uh, so I got my, uh, some koozies in and you know, I got a merch line and I want to do a, just a little giveaway, uh, because I'm over 150 subscribers now. So, uh, if you want to win uh, a free t-shirt uh, and a free koozie uh, mailed to you at my expense, just comment 150. That's it. Just the number 150. Comment 150 in the comment section. I'll pick a winner at random and I'll mail you a blown budget garage koozie and, uh, and a t-shirt off of Teespring with my logo on it. Uh, because I just, I really appreciate the support, all the subs, all the views. And uh, yeah, and I just want to kind of give back. So I had them made. I'm excited to give one away. So yeah, if you want one, comment 150. Uh, aside from that, next week we're going to go ahead and uh, and and get those uh, couple of last little touches uh, finished up on the engine. I ordered some electric fans uh, because I just don't like the way that fan looks and it's just not doing really well. So we're going to wire in some electric fans and and get that idle issue fixed. And yeah, and then we're going to just you know keep on with getting the car done so at any rate i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a great week and uh now we'll know who watches my videos all the way through huh until then see you next time guys